different people have different preferences as far as order and control, uh, how they want to live their lives. And I happen to fall on the side of a person that is very comfortable with chaos. I think chaos is beautiful. I think good things come from chaos. However, and I can, I'll explain that more later, but there are people, and I think a lot of people, that do not like the idea of chaos. They want order. They want to know what to expect in life. They want to have a firm set of rules that they can live by, and they want to create these rules for themselves. They're fine with other people giving them rules, and they feel that that very structured life is a better way to go. And I have to say that there are certain benefits to both. My distinction is whether or not it is voluntary or if someone else has imposed rules upon you. And my example is of a bedtime. I choose to go to bed early and get up early. That's my choice. I've heard the saying for years, healthy, uh, you know, what is it? Early to bed, early to rise makes a person healthy, wealthy, and wise. That is a uh, piece of advice that was given. And it's a just kind of a little rhymy thing that, that parents could tell children to encourage the children to remember the little cutesy and perhaps do those things. Uh, and, you know, good things would come from it. It is how I choose to live. However, if someone else made that rule for me, if there was a homeowners association or a municipal ordinance or a county ordinance or a federal law or uh, just simply a, uh, a recommendation from some governing body uh, that was a strong recommendation that, you know, good people, we're going to shame you if you don't do this. Uh, everyone needs to go to bed by 8 o'clock at night. Then this rule becomes bad. If the rule is made by someone else, I think it's a bad rule. If someone else wants to offer me suggestions, wants to give me advice, then I can choose whether or not to follow that advice. But to impose it upon me, I think that's just plain bad. I don't care for it. I don't like the people that make choices each day to wake up in the morning and create rules that impact me or enforce those rules. I think that's a despicable way to live, and uh, you're, you're not a very good person, in my opinion, if that's what you choose to do with your life. Now, on the other hand, there are people that offer that advice, and some of the advice is good, some is bad. I love the chaos of getting to choose which guidelines I follow, which ones I don't. I love the idea that my neighbors can also make those choices. Now, one of my neighbors is going to choose to stay up until 3 in the morning playing video games, is going to sleep in, is going to get less done, read fewer books, create fewer, I don't know, dollars, productivity, whatever we want to call it. They're not going to spend as much time helping friends, creating value, creating businesses, et cetera, et cetera. And my productive output is going to be greater than theirs. And then in, you know, if all is fair, it all works out well, it should turn out that I end up having a few more pennies in my purse than that person does at the end of the, the day or year or life. That's my choice, though. And I would hate it if somebody imposed upon my neighbors the rule that they couldn't stay up until 3 a.m., playing video games, that they had to go to bed at 8 o'clock. Just, that's just nastiness to tell your neighbor what to do like that. This idea of order versus chaos, and we'll be talking about this in other videos as well, I think this is a huge foundation, a uh, huge foundational piece when we discuss philosophy. If, pers if one person is arguing, and, and they have this strong foundational belief that I do, that freedom is better than uh, being ordered around, slavery, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and and I, slavery is kind of a pejorative term. Um, I, I use it because it's what it feels like to me. To the person that enjoys that, um, it's not slavery to them. And they'll probably try to uh, propagandize me and tell me that, what is it, slavery is freedom? Is that the old uh, uh, the thing? Let's talk about uh, a, an imaginary person uh, that is very much interested in order and prefers order, and that's the, the lifestyle that they enjoy and want to live. 
uh, this would be a person that is perhaps the, the a person that is very uh, into nationalism or patriotism, whatever you want to call it. Uh, they believe in their country, uh, right or wrong. If their country uh, wants something, uh, then that thing is a good thing. This type of person would probably confuse the words country and government and would think that government, uh, when they say the word country, they're really thinking of government. So if they say that their country went to war, they wouldn't be talking about their neighbors, each individually looking at an issue, saving up some money, and then going to do something about it. They'd be talking about a government hiring uh, lower income people uh, who don't have as many options to go and fight that war. But they would see that that as being an okay thing because we, the country, uh, have decided, the people in authority, the rulers, have decided that the appropriate thing to do is go to such and such a place and kill the brown people there. And this person might also enjoy having structure in their spiritual life. They might be uh, a, a religious person. They might be into monotheism and, and have made this choice not based on having closely examined a hundred religions, but they probably picked the same religion that their parents and their grandparents picked uh, or had thrust upon them. And it's probably the same religion that many of their neighbors are a part of. Uh, when I say neighbors, I mean blocks away and miles away and hundreds of miles away, uh, that general geographic area. This person probably thinks that that religion is the one and only true religion and their government is the one and only true government. And it's a good and just one that does the best for them that it can. And yeah, there are a few bad apples in the in the church and in the state, but overall, that people want what's best, and there are a few little things that need to be fixed, and there's some corruption, but overall, it's a good idea to have authority in government and authority in religion. And this person also wants to have authority in the family. This person is more likely to spank their children, to have very hard set rules about what they should do, their hair needs to be combed just so before they leave the house. They need to have their room neat and clean. Uh, very structured list of chores that they have check marks that they check off. And at the end of the day, and when I say day, of course, I mean the end of the life or uh, period of years, this lifestyle turns out to be fairly productive and work fairly well for a lot of people. Now, they might not be happy, but there's a certain comfort and contentment that can come along with uh, doing, being institutionalized. Like a person, uh, when I worked in the jail, some people were very comfortable to be told when to get up, when to go to bed, this is the day you have your laundry done, this is where you go to eat, this is how you walk, this is how you stand, this is how you... And it, it, some people were fine to have that institutionalized life. And this type of person... If they enter an argument with somebody that doesn't share these preferences, it's going to be apples and oranges, the argument. It, it's, it's just there's these very different foundational differences. And until those are worked out, it's harder to move on and talk about next level, higher up things. Now, I've given the example of this one type of person. And then the other type of person is the kind of person that says, yeah, I might make bad choices. I might do stupid things. Uh, I might sleep too much, not sleep enough. Uh, I might go s the wrong direction. I might wreck a few times. I'll probably trip and fall down and I'll probably may have some ugly paintings, um, but I don't really want to only paint by the number. I want to be creative and do my own thing. And these are the kind of people that will frequently start new businesses or new industries, new trends. And this kind of person does not want to be told what to do by anyone other than themselves. They're good with self-governance, but they're not good with being governed by others. And this kind of person is happy not knowing what to, what is coming up next. And surprise things happen in their life, and, and they're pretty comfortable with it. They couldn't imagine living the rigid life that uh, they think of as being more like a robot. Uh, the information comes in, it's programmed that at this time you do this, at that time you do that, you get married to this gender person and you stay with them for a predetermined period of time that is the same period of time that your parents and grandparents have said is the proper amount of time and that your government agrees and your religion agrees. And 
that we just couldn't people like me the more the the people that like freedom chaos we do not want outside people telling us what to do and forcing us to do it now when i say we don't want the outside people telling us what to do again i am very happy to be offered advice very happy for somebody to say to me hey you know if you if you use an umbrella you probably won't get as wet and then i get to make that choice I'm great with being offered advice, but the moment that it becomes legislation, it becomes a rule that I cannot comfortably opt out of, that becomes a problem for me. What is your preferred way? Many of my friends actually do prefer the structured, robotic, rule-oriented, kind of the Germanic uh, idea of, you know, we don't need to laugh, we, we just need to work hard, do our thing, Life isn't here to be enjoyed, it's to be lived in a structured, proper way, and we can find some enjoyment along the way in that, but that, you know, we need to really stay strict and, and to the rules. Are you that kind of person, or are you the kind of person that is, uh, you know, likely to just do their own thing? Maybe win big, maybe lose big, but whatever the heck they want to do, uh, including making rules, very structured rules for themselves, but whatever they want to do, they do. What's your foundation? What is your preference? What is your preferred way to live? I suggest that when you debate with me or with anyone else, that you kind of poke around a little bit and uh, put it into way better words than I have. But understand this person you're going to be talking to, because once you understand them uh, and they understand you, it's going to kind of make the conversation more honest and, and you'll be able to see where the other person is coming from and accomplish more.